Hello, boys and girls. We are about to listen to the interactive read aloud of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Goldilocks. What might a little girl find in the home of a small, a medium, and a great big bear? Once upon a time, three bears lived together in a cozy cottage. There was a teeny tiny baby bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a great big papa bear. The cottage was organized perfectly for three bears. They had all they needed, and they were very happy there. One morning, the three bears made porridge for breakfast. Mama bear poured it into three bowls. There was a little bowl for baby bear, a middle-sized bowl for mama bear, and a great big bowl for papa bear. This porridge is too hot, said baby bear in a soft little voice. It is very hot, agreed mama bear in her nice medium voice. Let's go for a walk while it cools, said papa bear in his great big voice. So that is what they did. And we can see how with our essential question about classifying and categorizing, that's exactly what this story is doing with the three bears. Let's see what the next slide is about. While the bears were out walking, a girl named Goldilocks came upon the cottage. Since no one was at home and the cottage was so inviting, she decided to go in to look around. Once inside, she saw the three bowls of porridge. How hungry I am, she said and sat down to eat. But which bowl of porridge should she eat? She decided to try each bowl to distinguish which was the best. She tasted the porridge from Papa Bear's great big bowl. Ouch, she cried. This porridge is much too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. Ew, she said, putting the spoon down. This porridge is much too cold. Then she tasted the porridge in the little bowl. Mmm, Goldilocks said. This porridge is just right. It is not too hot or too cold. And Goldilocks ate the entire bowl. After she ate, Goldilocks went into the living room. She noticed there were three chairs. Just like the bowls, the chairs were classified by size. There was a great big chair, a middle-sized chair, and a little chair. First, Goldilocks sat in the great big chair, but it was much too hard. Next, Goldilocks sat in the middle-sized chair which was much too soft. Finally, she sat in the little chair, which was just the right size. However, as Goldilocks got comfortable, the chair broke. By now, Goldilocks was feeling weary, so she found the bear's bedroom. First, Goldilocks lay down on Papa Bear's great big bed, but it was too hard. Then Goldilocks tried Mama Bear's middle-sized bed, but it was too soft. At last, she curled up on Baby Bear's little bed and smiled. It was perfect, and she fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, the bears had returned home and were quite hungry, so they went to eat their bowls of porridge. When Papa Bear saw his great big bowl, he growled in a loud voice. Somebody has been eating my porridge. When Mama Bear saw her middle-sized bowl, she said in a regular voice, Somebody has been eating my porridge too. And when Baby Bear saw his little bowl, he said in a quiet voice, Somebody has been eating my porridge and it's all gone. And he began to cry. Next, the bears went into the living room where Papa Bear and Mama Bear saw that someone had been sitting in their chairs. Poor Baby Bear cried very hard when he saw his broken chair. The bears went to the bedroom where Papa Bear and Mama Bear 
noticed that someone had been resting in their beds. Baby Bear said, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. There she is. Goldilocks woke up and was startled to find three bears staring at her. She ran out of their house as fast as possible and never came back again. Meanwhile, Oops. Um, so it's just interesting to see how a story that we all know that we've been hearing for our whole lives really is talking exactly about our essential question for this week, which is how do we classify and categorize? It's just by sorting things. And in this case of Goldilocks and the three bears, things are sorted by their size and by how hot they are. So I hope you enjoyed our story today.